Hello. So if you guys haven't heard yet, Adobe Fresco just released a February update to their app. So in this video, we'll be diving into some of the exciting new features and enhancements that have been added. So let's get started. So first off, one of the cool new features that they've added is now you can create vector strokes with dual color, so a fill and an outline. So if you go to your vector brushes panel on the left hand side, you can see here we have a variety of choices. And if you scroll down to the bottom and click on outline, we've already had outline brushes, but now we can have the dual color. So a color for the fill and a color for the outline. So if I go to my color panel over here, I can select maybe a red and then for the inner portion, maybe like a darker pink. And so now if I draw on my canvas, we have that really cool vector stroke with the fill and an outline. So this is a really cool feature in case you're a lettering artist and like to add outlines to your lettering. This is gonna be really fun to use. I would just say that if you want the entire stroke to mesh together, you have to continue the path or the stroke as you're writing. So you can see here, I lifted up my pencil so then it creates a new path. So if I wanted it to be a continuous look, a continuous stroke, I'll click on undo. I'll have to keep my pencil on the screen without lifting it up, which is a little bit difficult, but you get the gist. And there you go. That is one of their first features that they just updated creating dual colors for a fill and outline for vector strokes. Now another feature that they have, I'm gonna go ahead and select my background layer and let's convert it to a pixel layer. And I'm gonna fill it in with a darker color here, maybe a light pink. So now before I show you guys the second feature that they just added to Adobe Fresco is I want you guys to actually select that background layer that we just converted into a pixel layer. Now if we go down to our selection tools, we can actually now make a polygon selection. So instead of selecting a paint selection, rectangle, ellipse, lasso, or magic wand, we can now select a polygon selection and we can select the amount of sides that we want for that selection. So just tap on the plus or minus to increase the amount of sides or decrease the amount of sides. So let's say I want to do maybe a diamond here. I can select a diamond on the screen. And if I select that layer, I have my background selected. I can click on erase and deselect. And now we've created this diamond shape. If I add another layer below that pink, and we'll just fill it in with the color white and make it a pixel layer, you can see we've added sort of like a sparkle kind of feel. So I'll go back to that layer my pink layer and I can continue selecting little areas of diamonds here and erasing. And you can see that is a really cool, a little cool feature that they just added. And if, again, you can change the amount of size that you want to add. Maybe you want to make it this many sides. I can go ahead and select go on my screen and click on erase. And there we go, so you can make those selections. I'm using it as a way to kind of add sparkle and shine to my lettering or my art, um, but you can just also use it as selecting pieces on your design. So let's say I created a new layer up here and I'm gonna draw maybe a flower here. And I'm just gonna use a basic round brush here and I'm just gonna draw a flower and let's fill it in and just make sure that the color margin is increased so that there is no outlines or pieces of the pink behind it. Now I'll go back to my selection tool and we can go ahead and select our polygon depending on how you want it to look. Maybe we want it to be a diamond again. We can select it here and erase. Now we've created a cute kind of flower with a diamond inset. So that is the second feature that they just released. So I've opened up a piece of art that I did yesterday to show you guys how the third feature works. So now Adobe allows you to control the duration of your videos for social posts. So when you're exporting and previewing your time-lapse videos, you can adjust the timeline of the video by trimming the duration. So if I go to the share button here and I click on preview time-lapse, you can see here that they're making my video a minute and seven seconds long. So 
if I click on the play button, you can see here, it's gonna go through the entire design at this pace. But let's say I wanna reduce the seconds. Let me give, give me a 20 second video and give me a preview of it. So now if I click on play, it should only be a 19 second video really, really fast. And this is perfect in case you're someone like me who likes to post their work to Instagram or TikTok and you know that we tend to make those videos under a minute long. Adding the control of the duration of these time-lapse videos is a great new feature of Adobe Fresco's February 2023 release. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out the new features. They're really fun to use and I'm really excited to see what else Adobe brings to the app.